All right, NFL Wild Card Weekend Recap. I know we're late. We're sorry. It's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, South's premier sports gambling destination. They've got six incredible sports books. You can go check out all of them over at tunicatravel.com. Let's jump in. We're going to go relatively quickly through this. Uh, Indianapolis 21, Houston 7. Thorough stomping. Uh, it was 21 to nothing at the half. Correct. The Colts did not score again. Uh, Texans defense, pretty legit. But I think that the Colts realized they didn't have to put up more points. I think they were just running the ball, killing clock, and uh, just trying to not make – don't make mistakes. No, you're right about that. Don't be yourself. No. And and they – I mean, they looked good. They, two games in the row, the Colts went into Houston and kind of beat them up. Andrew Luck, 19 out of 32, 222 yards, two, two touchdowns. Teams. Marlon Mack was the star of the ball game. 24 rushes for 148 yards. Um, Deshaun Watson, like, didn't look great. He, his numbers weren't terrible, right? 29 out of 49, 235 yards, one touchdown, one pick. But if if you're throwing the ball 49 times and you're the Texans, that is a problem. Yes. Just period. That's that's an issue. Man, um, they kind of took Hopkins out of the game, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know who the Kiki Kuti is from Texas Tech. Uh, but he looked good. Eleven receptions, one hundred and ten yards, one touchdown. Looked good. Hopkins. Uh, Hopkins got hurt at the end of the first half. Didn't really look the same after that. Um, you know, I mean, he was he was still fine. He was targeted ten times. He caught five passes for thirty seven yards. Whatever. Oh, that's rough. Just not good. Uh, we both called this. The Colts look great right now. Uh, they are ten and one in their last eleven now. Uh, and it's going to set up an interesting game in Kansas City, and we'll we'll get to that in the previews. Uh, let's move on to Saturday night, Seattle and Dallas. This is a fun game. This was this was a fun game at the end. This it was, was kind of boring throughout the middle. Uh, but that's what these two teams do. That's right. They play good defense. Dallas twenty four, Seattle twenty two. Uh, Janikowski, golly, gets hurt on the last play of the first half. Pulls a hammy, yeah, which is crazy, right? I, I thought he kicked the turf. Did he kick the turf? Look, I don't know. I, I couldn't like I, I, I just was, I just thought he was drunk. <laughs> I mean that's, that's still likely. I mean it was a strong possibility. A strong possibility. But uh yeah, Seattle, if if he hits that field goal, then they win this game. Oh well yeah. It's, when it's a completely different game. It's a different game because that's they wouldn't going go for two. Yeah, yeah, no, it, the game totally changes. Uh Seattle gets that last two point conversion and crushes Woo. Dallas Betters. The old backdoor cover. I believe that. Listen. Believe that. You can't get in the front door. Just get in the back. I, I gave out Dallas. You get it in. I gave out Dallas minus two and a half last week, and I didn't bet it until it was at two. Oh, you sneaky bastard. So you. I, you so I ended over. up pushing. You pulled one over on the fans. Well, because normally I bet the Scannery games before we actually come in and record, yeah, right? Yeah, we, we, we're giving you numbers that we don't like, that we don't see. We're giving you numbers that we have. That we actually get. That we, um, and we tell you if we if it moves this way, then get it better. If it's moving the other way, get it quick. I mean. Yeah, like we, or or buy it down or whatever. But, uh, but yeah, I just, I missed the I two and a half. Buy it down. Um, that's, that's crazy talk. I'm just saying, <laughs> some people do. Uh, sometimes those hooks are important, man. And in this case, it was really important. The VIG. You Brother, believe math, that? Math tells you it's a sucker's bet. I, I mean, you, you would think so in most cases. In this case, it's, in this case, it, it paid off. Uh, Dallas looked good. I didn't. Need, um, I didn't need to buy it. Look, Brian Schottenheimer. Uh, if I was Pete Carroll, I would have fired him immediately. Like, but part of this is on Carroll too. This is this is the way Carroll does things. Here's the problem, though, and this is what I saw before the season started. I did not think much of the Seattle team at all because I don't believe in Brian Schottenhammer at all to run a, a, an offense capable of getting the most out of Russell Wilson. And well, that that's what's nuts to me, right? Like, it, so Robert Mays from the Ringer had the best tweet best quote I've heard in a long time after this game was over with, he said, look, if you're going to run this offense, just trade Russell Wilson and go get you a cheaper quarterback. You, you don't need to spend $30 million on a quarterback to run this offense. No, you're right. You're, you're, you're grossly inefficient, economically speaking, 
if if you're going to spend thirty million dollars on a quarterback and have him run this kind of offense, it, Warren Sharp had the had the best okay. tweet. Uh, Seahawks fans, we're going to have to have a long talk about Brian Schottenheimer. Seattle doesn't have Blake Bortles or Case Keenum at quarterback. No. This is Russell Wilson. Sixteen Wilson passes at eight point three yards per average versus twenty one non Wilson runs at two point eight yards per carry. One of the worst called games with a good quarterback that I can ever remember. And then he goes on. Uh, it is now 2019, Pete and Brian. It is not okay to lose a playoff game because the other team stopped your running game when you have Russell Wilson's quarterback. You must adapt in-game. You did nothing. It is insulting to your players and your fans. You lost this game because of your play calling. You should have known entering this game, Dallas was number five against the run and number yes. 16 against the pass. You should have known that Dallas's pass defense ranked number 31 in success rate the last month of the season. Even if you did no prep to understand Dallas, how do you not adjust in game? Russell Wilson averaged 8.6 yards per attempt and recorded a 106 rating. The Seahawks running backs averaged 2.8 yards per carry on 21 runs. In the first half on first down runs or on first downs, your runs averaged 2.0 yards per carry, passes averaged 14.5 yards per attempt, and yet you kept running on first down in the second half like it was even. In the first half, Wilson was 7 of 11 with 8.8 yards per attempt. Your running back run game gained 19 yards on nine carries. That's 2.1 yards per carry. Your longest run was five yards, and yet you came out of the locker room on the first drive and went first and 10, one-yard running back run. Second and nine, three-yard running back run. Third and six, predictable pass, punt. Trailing on every offensive play on the second half and knowing the run game was burnt, you went full DGAF. First down play calls on your first four drives of the second half, six running back runs, 3.9 yards per carry, 14% success rate, one pass, nine yards, 100% success rate. How do you do this to your team? Well, if it makes you feel better, Pete Carroll has a nice, juicy extension this year that's paying him $11 million a year. I mean, it just it, – if, if you're a Seattle fan, I'm sorry. And I'm not saying Pete's not worth it, but, but some of this is on Pete because Pete's the one that hired Brian. Pete's the one that has to okay all this stuff. I don't know how you hire Brian Schottenheimer. Like, I understand that we his, had that his conversation daddy is, before the season started. Because like, of what he did at Georgia under Mark no, Rick, man, I just, no, oh, I, 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 I don't, I don't either. And, and that's why I didn't like them before the season. I fell in love with them by the way they were just blowing people up. And that well, Dallas, because the running game was Dallas playing Fronts, well. And no joke. But, but you got to be able to, to adapt. And, and if you can't adapt, I mean, that's a, yeah. that's a major league flaw. Like I said, and here's the other thing that 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 stands out to me too, and let me let me talk up Dallas for a minute. I like making fun of Jason Garrett. I I don't think Jason Garrett's a good coach, um, but uh, but this team, a couple of years ago, I real and I might have said this on one of our old podcasts. I really think I knew eleven people that were more athletic than people that were on the Cowboys. Yep. They had no athletic ability whatsoever. And they have changed the way they've drafted over the last several years. And they just Jaylen were like, we're, and, we're, just, we're just going to get dudes that can jump high and run fast and have lateral speed like nobody's business. And, well, and, and now and not only that, got, but, but they are smart enough to know how to play yeah. gap defense. They are incredibly disciplined. Well, you can't do that if you don't have talent. You don't have – Agreed. And it's not, it's not even just about talent. At some point in time, you can't just have – like the old smart veteran that knows how to play the game, you got to have some studs that have some sparks numbers that now can, you, that can right. run, that can jump, that have lateral speed, and 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 it's just they they look different. Now you're you're right about that. Uh, Chargers twenty three to seventeen at Baltimore. Uh, I think we we both had the Chargers. Um, this was a weird. Weird game. Yeah, strange. Uh, it was twenty three to three. One offensive touchdown. Uh, at at the half, it was what twelve to nothing. Yes. Yeah, twelve to nothing. Uh, but the Chargers did what they what what you have to do in this situation, which is take what they give you. Do not go crazy trying for fourth downs and all that. Like kick the field goals. Do whatever you can to get Baltimore behind the eight ball because that offense cannot play from behind. Yeah, they can't come back. And Lamar Jackson showed he he cannot throw the ball yet. Uh, not towards the end of the game when he's just flinging it up there, and and the Chargers for whatever reason are in basically prevent, which is why anybody plays prevent. I have I just don't understand. I can't get it through my head. Um, 
But they come out with a win. Phillip Rivers does what he has to do. They, for all intents and purposes, dominated this game. Like, it, it, it was it, it was closer in a game to the score. That, in the game that you only score one touchdown, they, yeah, dominate. they dominated the game. Yeah. I mean, they, they, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. As a Pats fan, I am, I am absolutely nervous about this game coming up. But I will also tell you, you score one touchdown, you're going to get your ass whipped. You're not going to New England scoring one touchdown and winning. I think Baltimore's defense is better than New England's. Maybe so. I mean, Baltimore, to me, top three defense in the league. Oh, yeah. I, and all I don't even numbers, know what the numbers say. No, all the numbers say they're, they're, they're one, two, or three in every statistical category. I mean, they're – So, no, that's a, that's a factual statement, and the Patriots are probably around 21, 22. And that's fine. I'm just saying, at some point in time – I think the Chargers the will the score more than one different. touchdown against the Pats, okay. uh, and and they did not against Baltimore, but they didn't have to. That's right. They didn't have to. Didn't have to. Uh, last game, Philly and Chicago. Nick Foles, magic, strikes again. Cody Parkey misses the field goal. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go out and say that it was blocked. I don't care about blocked or not. I'm going to – I had this opinion the second the game ended. I'm not trying to be contrarian here. All these people bashing on Cody Parkey. What, are we going to ever get on Mitch Trubisky about anything or did he just get a pass for sucking? Okay, because Cody Parkey scored more points. He only gets three a time or one at a time every time he gets an opportunity to do something. And Mitchell gets six every time he gets a chance to do something. And he scored more than anybody else on the team. So just get off the man's back and score some touchdowns. You want to win these games, put the ball in the end zone. Stop yeah. relying on kickers. Yeah. Co- Cody Parkey was three out of four. Uh, his long was 36. Um, I mean, it, look, Trubisky, 303 yards passing. Couldn't get the ball in the end zone. But couldn't get the ball in the end zone. So Died in the red zone. Some of that wasn't on him. I mean, the, the play calling got away from him. They couldn't run the ball down there. They knew they couldn't. Um, it, it was just a. It was kind of a weird offensive game. Mac surprisingly didn't have that great of a game, um, but you know who did have a great game? You know who, who had a who had a real good game? My boy Roquan. Oh yeah, yeah Smith was, Ro- was Roquan. Roquan had a game, and I was I was watching it thinking he's he's starting he's starting to come on his own, and I wasn't done watching this Bears defense play football. No. I, I still I don't understand why the Bears were favored by six and a half here. It, 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 way too big, way too big. Like I, I just don't I, understand. I just thought all of them should have been. If you're going to make them all two and a half when they all open, well, up and, at two but and this half, one just, opened at six. I know that moved just up. just make like, them all two and a half. And, and you go and actually look at the numbers and and it was tickets on on the Bears. I don't know. But everybody was betting them. I don't like, get it. I guess people just didn't watch Philly I, I, since Foles took over. I love Chicago. Well, no, people still think Foles is the backup. I just don't understand it. Like, it makes no sense to me. I'm, so you know how I follow Mike Leach just to the abyss, willingly. I would go to the gates of hell with that guy. I'm I'm following Foles there, but I'm just doing it blindfolded, just bird boxing it, man. Just cover the blindfold. <laughs> And just let me follow your voice. I don't know how we're getting there. Bird I boxing it. I don't know how it's working out. I can't explain any of it. But but the boy just wins. I'm along for the ride. The boy just wins. I mean, I just, it's, it's I just right now. I just need him to start coming. It's it is other world stuff. I don't get it. Uh, so that is our NFL wild card recap. As always, go to tunicatravel.com. Go check us out over at winningcureseverything.com. That is the NFL recap.